I've just not got time to exercise. I just, I just ain't got it in me. I've got no energy. I can't do it. No, I, I just wake all day, then I come back, and I've got time for a bit of TV, then it's going to bed. Well, I'm sorry, but I think you have got time, to be honest. If you've got time to watch TV, you've got time to work on yourself. You know, how many hours a day do you watch that TV for? Work on yourself for 20 minutes a day, whatever it may be, just 20 minutes, and watch your life change. Stop making excuses up. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. You're right, my name is Daz and welcome to Stories for the Subconscious, where I want to help people to reprogram their subconscious minds so that they can basically reprogram their life for the better. Today we're going to be looking at time. We all know what time is, I don't need to explain that. But what I'm going to go into is when people moan that they haven't got enough time to do things. Oh, I just ain't got time to do that, oh I just can't do this. Oh, I just never got enough time. I'm always knackered and I just don't have time to do that. You get the gist. You might even be one of them people yourself. I used to be. Or you may know people around you are just like that. Where they want to stay in the little comfort zone because they haven't got time to do anything else. They haven't got time to make progress. If you just heard that shake in the background, that's the dash hand again. He likes to do a fast shake. <laughs> With his ears. Here he comes. Interference. Um... Come on then, come on then. I'm not stopping the video for you, bugger looks. There he is. There he is. The one and only. Get out. He's always trying to kiss you. Get. There he is. Look. 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 This is Eddie. No, stop. Stop it. Stop it doing that. What? We're going to film a video about time. Look. Look in there. Look. 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 There's the camera. Not my face again. It's like having fucking Emu in it. I'm Rod Hull. Bald headed Rod Hull. This is fucking Dashown version of Emu. Right. He's a bugger. Right, let me film this thing because I'm not going to get anywhere, am I? If you keep doing that, you just love to kiss. No, you stop then because I, I forgot where I was now. Come on. Yeah, anyway, we're going to not only go on about time, but, but what I also want to look at, do you know how we can manage our time, how we can maximise our time and make the most out of 24 hours in the day? Because everyone's got the same 24 hours, haven't we? And I'm going to show you some killer time management tips along the way. Sprinkled in so you can't forward or you can't skip or stuff like that. You're going to have to stay to the end. That's where the magic is. All through the video. Watch the long form content and you'll learn more. All this short, fast content. It's got to be a minute long. Got to be a minute long. Giving everyone TikTok brain. Giving on stupid brains. Pack it in. It's making you dumber. It's making you distracted. It's making you not be able to focus and concentrate. Can you not see, peeps? Anyway, where was we? So when it comes to time management, one of the biggest challenges people face are distractions. It's so easy these days, isn't it, to get sucked into social media, gossiping, emails, Netflix, or whatever it is, mindless browsing. And before you know it, hours have just slipped away from you. Will you pack it in? Will you pack it in? You want to be the star of the show, don't you? He is the star of the show. He said, I want my own channel, Eddie's channel. Oh, he's a little sod. <laughs> right. Another common issue people have around this subject, around time, is poor planning. You know, without a, a clear plan of attack, how can you be expected to manage your time? You know, it's so easy to feel stuck, overwhelmed, unsure where to start as well. And then oh, on comes the familiar procrastination, doesn't it? And that's a massive obstacle for many of us, including me. It was me for a while until I learned how to manage my time. It, it could be due to a lot of reasons. It could be whether it's fear of failure, or it could just, just be plain old being lazy. It was easy to put things off until the last minute, and finally, and finally, there's that sort of challenge of maintaining energy and focus throughout the day. You know, as the hours tick by, it's natural to feel fatigue and let it creep in, making it harder to stay on track. And I tell you what as well, what doesn't help is like, people always say, oh, they're too tired to do some, some too tired to work on the self when they're coming from work. I just can't do it, I'm too knackered and stuff, but we have to look at... What are you eating? During work, what have you eaten? Because if you're eating a lot of, say, like, pastries and snacky food and sandwiches, 
um, or maybe you've ordered something from the deli or the takeaway with a group of people in the office and stuff, right? All this stuff, all this processed, this fast sort of junky type food, do you know, is it just makes your blood sugar spike and goes up and down and up and down. So after you've ate it, have you noticed you always feel sluggish when you've ate them type of foods? Or you might have a bit of chocolate or a pudding or something like that and you just feel like, ugh, I'm just so tired. I just ain't got no time to do anything. Well, what was in your pack up? Um, all that was in my pack up was a cheese sandwich, a pork pie, a scotch egg, a sausage roll, a drink, a bag of crisps and a penguin bar. Where's the fucking energy? That's going to last about 10 minutes before you are fucking knackered. No wonder you're going to come home and you, you ain't got time to do it apart from fall asleep in front of the TV. Have you ever noticed, have you ever thought it might be a diet coming into play as well? You try eating a more balanced diet, what's high in energy, you know, high good foods, what, what give you natural energy, um, foods what are good for you, for your digestive system, so you're not feeling knackered trying to burn it all off, or just try fasting till tea time and you'll see a massive difference. I fast, I fast every day until tea, I've just had my first meal of the day, I've still got loads of fucking energy, I'm still bouncing because, you know, I've changed my diet and I've left it a long time before I eat anything, because if I eat through the day I'm doomed, my focus is like, gone. So that, that could be it. That could be a big part of where people can't work on themselves through, through the evening because they're just, their diet has played into play. And then if you're eating a rubbish diet, it might lay heavy on your stomach at night and then you have trouble sleeping so you won't get a good night's sleep. And then you, you wake up craving all the, the, the crap foods again and then you'll be too tired to work on yourself again. And it's sort of like a repetitive cycle, isn't it? So then you'll just put Netflix on and then you'll be the same old same old crappy pattern again so i believe everyone has got time i just think people are one not utilizing the time properly and two eating loads of crappy sugary processed foods to make themselves have no energy zero energy if you've got zero energy you're not going to be able to perform at your best there or even half your best to work on yourself Sort your diet out, sort your sleep out. You don't have to stay up till late at night watching, binge watching Netflix so you can gossip to fag ass fucking Lil in the office about all the, the, ne the, the latest episode. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Who fucking cares? Is that going get, to get you where you need to be in life? Seriously? No, it's not, is it? It's just going to, oh, you'll be able to join in the little conversation with all the other normies. Come on, sort it out. So these things aren't saving you. These things aren't going to get to the next level of what you need to do or what you want to do. Your dream life, your dream whatever it is. Do you know, just doing this same thing over and over again is not going to get you there. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. And then, then you'll get the excuses from people, won't you? Then you'll just get the excuses. Um, I, I am eating good diets. I am doing this. I still can't work on myself you know, all the time. I still can't... Oh, all the time. I still can't work on myself. I still can't do it. I'm just too knackered. I ain't got time. Show me your fucking phone then. Uh, uh, what? Show me your fucking phone then. Let me see how many... How much hours a day you're... How many hours a day you're on your phone? No, why should I? I don't want to show you my phone. Why? What are you hiding? Show me it. All I'll do is just see how many hours a day you're on your phone and what apps you're on the most. You'll see it. Today, Facebook, two and a half hours. TikTok, two and a half hours. You've had five hours to waste on that. Or even, not that extreme, TikTok, one hour. Facebook, 30 minutes. That's still an hour and 30 minutes that you could have fucking worked on yourself, innit? And then you've got the TV. If, I don't know if you can check the TV or check the, the time they've been on it. Oh, the TV's an hour as well. So that's three hours right there. And have you ever thought, like, instead of making these fucking excuses up, just get up a bit early. And if you're already up too early for working that what, just work on it. When you get home, straight away, do it. Ten minutes. Work on something. Work on craft or work out. Start a workout routine for ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's all you have to do. Five times, six times, just do that 10 minutes. Everyone's got 10 minutes and it's over and done with. And then you increase it to 20 minutes and it's over and done with. And then so you get to a certain level where it's a habit. You've made it a habit inside your mind. Because that's what you need to do. You have this, this habit of coming home, you know, too knackered because you've had all this crap processed food and vegetating in front of the TV. 
or just being on your phone doom scrolling and stuff or drinking yourself silly hey this is habits what you've created over time so this what i'm telling you is gonna take time that's why i'm saying just start with 10 minutes 10 minutes per day 10 minutes per day all adds up done it that's 70 minutes over the week yeah and then write down where you was at or exercise you could do it in 10 minutes you just do a shoulder workout in 10 minutes don't stop then the next day chest don't stop then the next day back don't stop then the next day yeah whatever whatever you're gonna do or 10 minute circuit or 10 minute insanity or 10 minute anything you can fucking do it people are just making excuses up but when i go to let's see your phone then uh, 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 because they realise they're just wasting time on the phone and then they've got time at a weekend to fucking sit there eat, gossiping with people and just drinking and having a laugh and being stupid oh who could be the most version of a fucking dickhead or let's just gossip about this person that person sometimes you've got to make sacrifice sacrifice that one day a week sacrifice that weekend day and instead work on yourself oh, I can't do that can I why not how important is it how important is it to be uh, to have a better body, to have your dream wife, to have your dream partner? How important is it to you? If it's important, you'll fucking work towards it, but you have to make sacrifices. Time is of the essence, but everyone's got the same 24 hours a day. Some people achieve greatness, some people achieve fuck all. Same 24 hours. Why? Oh, it's because they did this, because they did that. No, it's because they fucking went for it. And even when the chips was down and it was failing, they didn't give up. Anyone can do it. Anyone can work to whatever they want to achieve, but you've got to start from somewhere and you've got to keep going. You've got to keep going. You know, I want to be a popular content creator and I do want to be a mindset coach. I've got plenty of experience supporting people um, from all different walks of life. I've been a support worker, I've been a mentor, I've been a role model, I've got the experience and eventually I'll be doing that. I'll be trying to help people get where they need to be because i've been through all this not long ago and i'm still learning as well myself and i still have set setbacks myself and i still fuck up from time to time but then I, the next day i keep going i don't beat myself up and fall into that guilt trap and don't keep going anymore i just keep going the next day realize i fucked up there and keep going again go again all the time go again nothing changes if nothing changes does it another big mistake people make when it comes to time management is trying to multitask it just doesn't fucking work. By trying to do multiple things all at once, you're actually diluting your focus and reducing productivity. Another mistake is not taking breaks as well. It might seem counterintuitive, but taking short breaks throughout the day within your task can actually help you to recharge, come back, look at it again, and be stronger. Another one as well, there's the mistake of not setting realistic goals. If you set your goals that are too lofty, too out there, too big, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and frustration. So what can we do to overcome these challenges? Well, the first step is to prioritise. Make a list of what needs to get done and then rank those in order of importance and hardest. Do the most important and hardest ones first. This will help you stay focused on what matters most. And then next, just schedule your tasks out in a calendar, you know, breaking them down into small manageable chunks. And finally, you're setting your clear goals for yourself, both short term and long term. And this will give you more direction and motivation and it will help you stay on track. Another key strategy for its effective time management is the use of time blocking. You know, this is where you dedicate specific blocks of time to specific tasks. Eliminating distractions, put your phone away, put any distraction away, turn the TV off during that time. You know, an example of this, you might want to block off, you know, an hour in the morning for focused work and then take a 30 minute break or in the evening after you've finished work, you know, you could do little tasks and then just take a 30 minute break after each one and then move on to the next task. Just work on them shortly as well, just do them for like say 20 minutes at a time as well. I tell you what is a good idea and what I always do, you set boundaries with others as well. Communicating your needs and expectations clearly and, and just learn to say no. Every night at 8 o'clock after I've come back from work, I've fed, I've fed my daughter, I've fed the dogs, I've took the dogs out for a work, walk. Um, I'll put my phone away, out of sight, usually on charge, and I'll focus on what I want to do, whether it's researching, 
doing a bit of content, just doing anything what's going to take me to that next level. But my phone, from 8 o'clock, Monday to Friday, goes off and I don't touch it again in the morning. And that has helped massively. It also helps as well because, do you know, it helps to not see texts and sometimes text messages. No matter how small and mundane they are, I can actually stress you out. And then they stress you out before bed and then your mind's racing and then you can't get to sleep properly. So then you'll have a shit night's sleep. You'll wake up craving sugary snacky foods because that's what happens when, you, when you're overtired and you'll probably reach for all them. Come home, again, sat in front of the telly and don't get no done. Again. Just be mindful and don't take on too much at once because you'll end up spreading yourself too thin. There was this technique I heard about as well. Is it, is it the pom Pomodoro technique as well? And that's about time management. And this is where you work in focused 25 minute steps, 25 minute increments followed by a five minute break. And after four cycles, take a long, longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. It's a good technique as well, and it can really help you stay energised and focused. While, you know, while also you're taking regular breaks to recharge, and these tasks are only 25 minutes long, don't seem as daunting. Everyone can do just one task for 25 minutes per night. Just achieve your goals in 25 minutes per night, or even 10 minutes per night. It's a start. You know, by, by implementing these strategies as well, you can significantly improve your time management skills. Just remember people, it's all about making the most of the time you have and using it to achieve your goals. The effective time management is all about prioritising, scheduling, setting clear goals and stop making up fucking excuses. Everyone's got at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. You could get a task done there and that's, that's a start, isn't it? And just by overcoming these challenges and distractions and poor planning and utilising techniques like time blocking and the pomer... I can never pronounce it. Is it the pom Pomodoro technique? The Pomodoro technique? Something like that. You, you can literally take your, your productivity to the next level. It'd be nice to hear from you as well, people. I'd love to hear in the comments. I'd love to hear, do you know, what are your biggest time management challenges? Or are you just making excuses up? And how do you overcome them? Or how are you going to overcome them? Let me know in the comments, people, as well. And if you want more productivity tips and tricks like this, be sure to keep checking out my other videos because they're really helpful to take you to that 2.0 version of you. Better inside story, better outside life. Well, that's it for this week's subconscious story once again, folks, and I hope you've found value once again. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe as it helps the story to thrive, stay alive and get into that subconscious mind. Until next time.